Uh, I mean, Bengals is one of the best in this conference, one of the best in the country, point guards. Uh, that was just a tough shot. I mean, there's two hands, maybe three. I don't know. But um, he hit it right off the glass, and it was a good shot. He made it. I mean, you can't, you can't play a better defense than that. What did you think about the, the three-point shooting late in the game for, for both of you guys? Just uh, really impressive there. Um, for me, personally, I wasn't shooting the greatest going into the second half. And uh, my teammates just said, keep shooting, keep shooting. And so I did, man, kept falling. Um, yeah, like Devontae said, uh, he's a great player and made a shot. Uh, Devontae late, hit some big shots. He's a, a best shooter on the team. And uh, I just having the ball at the end of the game, and I just put it up, and a couple of them went in until I was lucky. Brock, we talked about the Gonzaga size. You know, it seemed like you guys handled them for most of the way, but, but Olnick uh, really got in there in the second half. What, what kind of problems were you guys having with him? Oh, he's a good player, and uh, he converted pretty well down the end. Uh, he made some big plays, and... Uh, we got some areas where we need to improve, but as you said, majority of the game, I think we did a pretty good job. And yeah, what, what do you take away from this? I mean, it's a top ten team. You, you took them all the way down to the wire. What do you take away from this game? Uh, we'll watch video and we'll check out our mistakes, uh, what we need to improve, uh, what we did positively, and uh, we'll just go from there. Devonte, you know, how long did it take you to, to feel like you were comfortable in this game and you were going to be able to warm up and, and uh, start hitting those shots? Uh, as soon as they said I was going to play, I was comfortable. I mean, teammates made me feel comfortable. They didn't, uh, they didn't not, not make me feel comfortable. I mean, as soon as they said I could play, I was, I was good, ready to play. And, and did you start to feel it towards the end of that? I mean, everything starts to go down and everything I starts mean, to go right. People get in those moods where you shoot in and it goes in, and I got in the mood where it went in most of the time. So the teammates found me. I didn't get open by myself. Brock set a great screen on one of the plays. Uh, he set another good screen, but I got a foul. Um, so I didn't get over by myself, and my teammates helped me and found me. And what is it about Gonzaga? I mean, obviously in your first career game last year, you had a pretty huge game against them as well. Is it, you know? I don't think it's nothing about Gonzaga. I just think it's a, it's a rivalry game. It's a big game. And uh, you, we want to play your best against your rivals to win the game. And uh, I think that's, that's what it is. As, we, as a team, I think we felt the same way, and we brought our A game. What was the foul call? Uh, he said I, I pushed him to get open. And I, I probably did. I'm not going to say I didn't. Um, I mean, it was a good call. What was the key to you guys just being able to bounce back so many times in that second half when it seemed like Gonzaga had really taken the life out of the game? I think that's a testament to our team and the character that we want to have as our identity. I think uh, they got up seven or eight towards the end there, and we could have easily just thrown the towel in and just said we played top ten team tough. and call it a night, but I think, uh, yeah, as I said, testament to our team. We kept in there. We had some big shots down the end, and we even got some big stops. <clears throat> and uh, he had a good shot at the end, and that was that. Brock, can you touch on your battle with uh, Olenek down low? Yeah, was that an, as intense as a you know, back and forth um, battle you've been through this year? Uh, yeah, he's a good player. I played him, I think, uh, three or four times when he played for Canada, back when I played for Australia, and uh, so we knew each other a little bit from then. But uh, I was just playing hard tonight, like I do every night. Um, and yeah, it was a good battle. I look forward to more challenges like that. And yeah, he hit some big shots towards the end, and he had a great play. Got a little chippy there in the first half. What was exchanged? Just two guys playing hard. Brock, you know, that, that's maybe some of the loudest uh, I've heard Beasley. Um, you know, were you guys able to sort of feed off the crowd? And, and what was that like for you guys in that, that type of environment? Yeah, definitely. Well, when, uh, when we get runs, they can be extended because the crowd's so loud and so into it. And I uh, wish we had more crowds like this because uh, I think we win a lot more games. Uh, we're tough to beat at home, and that's because of our crowd. Any more questions for Brock and Devante? All right, thank you. Okay. Questions for Coach Go. <clears throat> Ken, did, was there something about that final possession for Gonzaga that, that didn't go the way it was supposed to, or did they just make it a great shot? Well, it went the way it's supposed to for them. Um, I mean, I guess I would say it didn't go the way we wanted it because he made the shot. You know, it's a, it's a really good player that's confident, that makes a big play uh, when the game's on the line. Up to that point, uh, not that we were backing off of him, but up to that point he had made one field goal, kind of like when Texas A&M beat us and Turner hit the shot at the buzzer. Uh, same deal. I think Turner had one field goal and then he hits one with about two seconds. So. Um, I'm just really proud of our guys. I thought we, we uh, 
had situations where we could have backed down and maybe thrown in the towel, and we just we wouldn't we would not let up. We battled through some adversity, and I thought showed some some real toughness, especially when one of our biggest warriors went out with uh, with a, with an ankle sprain, Will Diorio. You know, he's kind of our uh, Mike Hart. Just you don't see it on the stat sheet or the, as far as points per game, but um, he makes winning plays, and it hurt us to lose him tonight. Could, could you have seen Devontae having that big of a game as his first game? No, I didn't expect that. I, I, I thought he might play around 20 minutes. Uh, he ended up playing more than that, 28, but he, uh, he looked pretty good, and then he was, he was confident at the end. What was it that Olenek did in the second half that, that made him uh, uh, such a, a threat and, and so successful? He's a, he's a real competitor, and he's a confident kid. That's a good combination to have, and, and those are the guys you want in the game at the very end. I think that's kind of like when, how Pangos made the shot. You know, Pangos, Harris, Olenek showed it. Those are the type of kids that just come up big all the time, and Devontae's one of those guys. Ken, we've always we've talked about throughout the season what Devontae brings back to your team or, or what, he, what he is to your team. What did you see out there that he brought back to your team? Well, I'll go right back to my last comment. Uh, there's a level of toughness and confidence, mm -hmm. and I think other guys feed off of his confidence. You know, when he's on the floor, he's got a presence because the guys believe in him. Doesn't matter whether he scores or plays; it doesn't matter if he's on the floor. Uh, I think it, it uh, raises our team's confidence. Did you learn, learn anything about your team tonight that maybe you didn't know coming into this game? I learned Brock shot better range than I thought. A couple of those threes were pretty deep. <laughs> is, there a, is there a point where you talked to Brock about scaling back the, the aggressiveness, kind of the extracurricular stuff? Or yeah, we've had those discussions. And that's, you know, that's a tough one because I don't want – he's a great kid. Right. I mean, I think everybody knows he's a, he's a great, great kid. But there's great kids that that's what gets them fired up. And, but he's got he's to uh, manage that. We've talked about it. He, he'll, he'll get better at it. Ken, one guy who, who you had in there for you know, only 11 minutes, but he had four rebounds there was Junior Longris, and, and he was on Harris, um, especially towards late in the game. Uh, what did you see out of him? Same old deal. You, know, you just count on him. He's that guy that's uh, extremely dependable. He knows exactly what he's supposed to do on, on the offensive end, on the defensive end. Uh, he just rarely makes a mistake, and he's uh, a relentless player. He really brings it. Effort-wise, he's, uh, he's there every possession. And he, is he becoming more reliable as the season goes on for you guys? Uh, he's been pretty reliable since the day we signed him. I mean, he's a responsible, reliable young man. Is, is Dexter turning into that guy who can really lock down someone who's a perimeter threat like Pangos? It seemed like he almost kept him from even getting the ball a few times in the first half. Yeah, Dexter's doing a better job of that. You know, last year, maybe the last fourth of the season, um, Dexter was getting more and more confident in his ability to guard. And he's not that locked down, tough, Gary Payton getting your face defender. But he's 6'6", long arms, good anticipation, very similar to the way Clay was. You know, Clay didn't get his identity from defense, but Clay had a real presence on the defensive end because of those things. And uh, Dex has those good instincts on the defensive end. Again, he's quick, he's fast, he's long, and um, with his length, he can bother some people. I think it helped us even against Idaho with the, the Connor Hill kid. Just Dexter's length. Uh, he does a good job contesting shots. There are some games that go down to the buzzer that aren't very good games. They're just close because that's the way it is. But how good of a game, it seemed like on both sides, this seemed, to, watching it, how, how good did it seem coaching in it? It was a great college basketball game. There's no doubt about it. I think it was a, it was a uh, fun game to be involved in, a stressful game to coach. But it was a good game. <coughs> Gonzaga is very good. I don't want to leave the room without saying that. They're, they're a, there's a reason why they're number 10 in the country. Like I told the guys in the locker room, though, what we've done in the last 16 days is uh, very pleasing to our staff. You know, we played Kansas on a neutral court and got blasted. And I know we're home tonight, but we played a very, very good team in Gonzaga. And I think we're getting better, and we're proud of that.